Welcome back, Long Care family. Andrew Bowman here with Bowman's Pro Turf. We are excited. It is getting warmer outside. Currently Sunday afternoon. I'm out here in the shop doing a little bit of cleanup to get ready for the busy work week. I don't typically like to do a lot of work on Sunday. Megan and I, we have our routine, go to church in the morning, always go out to Sunday lunch, and then we kind of relax the rest of the day. But I always spend a couple of minutes out in the shop uh, of a Sunday afternoon, straightening things up, making sure we have everything ready to go for the upcoming week. We just finished a three-part video series about crabgrass pre-emergence, so if you didn't check that, make sure you look back on our previous videos there. I talk about the importance of an early crabgrass application and the differences in the crabgrass pre-emergent products. And then I go into a little bit of the science behind the active ingredients and discuss which one might be the best product for your particular application. All right, now for the meat and potatoes of this video, and it is the number one tip on our 10 easy tips for a better lawn, and that is to mow your lawn at no shorter than three and a half inches. So when you mow your lawn any shorter with a cool season turf grass than three and a half inches, what you are doing essentially is damaging your turf. You're limiting the root development that your turf grass is going to get. You're cutting off valuable turf tissue that the turf grass uses to provide uh, more energy and nutrients to the root development. You're creating a weaker plant when you mow shorter than three and a half inches. That is the easiest thing and it is absolutely free for you to raise your mowing height to make sure you're mowing at no shorter than three and a half inches. Taller turf grass, it's gonna provide for a cooler uh, surface soil temperature. It's going to provide for more competition against uh, broadleaf weeds from coming up through a taller turf grass. You're gonna have a stronger root system on your turf grass, which is going to be a healthier turf grass overall. It's going to be able to withstand uh, more heat and drought stress is going to withstand more disease pressure. So you're going to have an overall better turf grass and you're usually going to have a darker green turf grass as well. Whenever you cut shorter, you're cutting more of the turf tissue off and then you're getting down to the crown of the plant. And if you look at uh, real close to a turf grass plant down there by the crown, it gets lighter and lighter and eventually it almost turns brown as well. So I'm sitting here next to my lawnmower and you can see this is the deck height adjustment and it is numbered one two three and four and then you have your pin right here and then this lever right here actually lowers or raises your uh, deck of your lawnmower if you look closely I have uh, my deck set at the absolute highest that I can set it I have the lever above the pin on the top uh, number now these numbers one two three and four they don't necessarily mean inches okay so if you put it on on the three and, and a half there that doesn't mean that you're mowing your lawn at three and a half inches because down below here I'm trying to do this all fancy like okay there's a couple right there there's an adjustment for the deck and then back there there's an adjustment for the deck if those do not match up correctly with the numbers on the side there you're not always going to be at one inch two inch three inches or four inches like those numbers say so i always get the handy dandy tape measure out so we get our tape measure out here i come down i lay down on the cold concrete floor i spin carefully the lawnmower blade i'm going to get right up here on this so you can see i put the tape measure down all so it's all the way touching the ground here try and zoom in here and you can see that we're right at about three and three quarters inches from the ground to the blade of the lawnmower so i'm mowing a little bit higher than three and a half inches three and three quarter inches that's how um I like it on our lawn and, it, and we see some really great results. Now, sometimes we'll go out to a lawn and a customer will swear up and down, hey, I am mowing at three and a half inches. I just absolutely know it. And I can tell that they're not mowing at three and a half inches. So I'm gonna show you a little tip here. 
this is our business card. You can take any business card or even your debit card and turn it like this. That's three and a half inches. If I get out to your property and you've told me up and down to your blue in the face that you mow it at least three and a half inches and I stick my business card down into the soil and your grass is shorter than my business card, I know that you're mowing shorter than three and a half inches right away. It's a, it's a quick little uh, test that I do um, that we've been doing for a couple of years and it's a really good illustration that anybody can do. You don't need a really expensive tape measure to see if you're mowing at three and a half inches. Take your debit card or a business card, stick it on the surface of the soil and if your turf grass comes any shorter than your business card or your debit card, you're mowing too short. Raise up your mowing height. There's a couple misconceptions that I hear uh, all the time when you mow higher and one of them is well if I mow higher that means I need to mow my grass more often. It makes my grass grow faster and that's not true at all. Um, I have no idea why people think that when you mow higher you have to mow more often because your grass grows faster. That's not true at all. Um, I think it's just an excuse that people have come up with over the years so that they don't have to mow at a higher height and trust us this is a free thing that you can do right now go out to your lawnmower see if it's three and a half inches and raise it until you get to at least three and a half inches it might be uh, difficult for you to get used to seeing your grass be mowed at a little bit higher but trust me you're gonna have fantastic results and it costs you absolutely nothing to make this little change now if you have a mowing crew you need to talk to your mowing crew about this make sure that they're mowing at at least three and a half inches every time they come out to your property. Sometimes in the summertime, mowing starts to slow down because your grass starts to grow a little bit slower. If they're coming out still every week and your lawn actually doesn't need mowed and they're just lowering the mowing height of your deck, uh, you need to have a really, really lengthy discussion with them about what they're doing to your turf grass. That's all for this week's video. Thanks for watching. Next week, we're going to continue through our 10 mostly free and easy steps for an instant and better uh, a better lawn for you. So be sure you come back every Tuesday. Every Wednesday night, we do a live stream over on Facebook. We've had a lot of fun with that over the last several weeks. So please join in, ask questions, hit me with your, uh, your deepest uh, uh, myths that you might have about lawn care. Uh, the season has really taken off for us and we are excited to be out in the lawns and working outside and it's a beautiful a uh, couple of weeks we have weather-wise coming up. So it's gonna be a great start to our growing season. Like, subscribe, share, ask questions, give us a phone call, shoot me an email, whatever means of communication you might have. Uh, and maybe uh, in the next couple of weeks, one of your questions will feature uh, in a video. We have a lot more uh, kind of DIY stuff coming up. I'm gonna show you how to calibrate one of these push carts and also back there on my table i have a hose end sprayer i'll show you how you can use those in your home property and as well as we're going to continue to talk about what we do share things in our business and maybe some of that information is helpful for you or you know just for some of our customers so thanks for watching have a great rest of your week and we'll see you next time